Hey, what's up guys? Um, good morning. It is Friday, October 18th. It's been a while since I have talked to you guys. This weekend is gonna be super, super fun. Um, today, right after my last class, I am driving down to St. Louis to go see Elise. Um, she is one of the spectacular people that I met at camp this past summer and she's literally one of my best friends now um, But yeah, I'm gonna go spend the weekend with her in st. Louis um, But for now we have classes we have to get to um, I have my psych class at 930. It's currently 903. I Really need to get a coffee before I go because I am super super tired um I typically have my math class right after that, but I haven't been going the past two weeks for good reasons. Um, I, because I have to get an assignment done that's due tonight, um, and I think it's due while I'm on the road or like as soon as I get to St. Louis, so I would just rather get it done right now. Um, and then I have my leadership studies class, which is so, so fun. Um, it's probably one of the easiest classes I've ever taken in my entire life, but one of the most fun classes I've ever taken in my entire life. So yeah, we have those three things today and then I have to come back home and pack. I was supposed to do that yesterday, but I didn't do it. So hopefully we can get out of Manhattan around 1 or 1.30. I don't want to get there super late. Um, I want to get there kind of early-ish, as early as I can. So I'm shooting for like 6 or 7 o'clock. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys after class. So I'm currently just sitting in my car uh, waiting for my 11.30. It's 11.03. I want to grab a coffee before this class because I didn't get to grab one before my 9.30. I was running late. Um, but I just wanted to take this time to kind of preface everything that's going to go down this weekend just because when I get out of class, it's going to be really hectic getting out of this garage. Sometimes it takes me literally 30 minutes. I need to leave Manhattan as soon as possible so I can get to St. Louis around like six ish um if that's possible because tonight elise did a thing tonight at seven we are going to see mason ramsey um and if you don't know who he is by his name he is the walmart yodeling kid um if you still don't know where who he is then you are obviously uncultured and i think tomorrow we're gonna try to go to the pumpkin patch i think she said maybe a haunted house um we might just like ha i might have her just show me like downtown st louis and just kind of you know where she lives maybe walk around campus for a little bit um and then i think sunday morning we're gonna go to church and then around like one o'clock is when i'm going to leave to come back home so that's kind of our weekend rundown. It's super simple, um, kind of like low-key, but we just want to spend time with each other because we haven't seen each other since August, which I know is like only two months, but um, I love her so much, and I don't get to ever see the people that um, I work with from camp until like the following summer, um, so it's just, it's really nice to have people that live close to you so you can hang out with them, but... Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I am going to run in and get a coffee and um, go to my leadership studies class. So now I need to turn myself around. In the winter, in the icy outdoor pool, when he jumped in first, I went into I'm a you, even if it makes me blue. Which takes me back to the color that we painted your brother's wall. Honey, without all the X's, whites, and flaws, we wouldn't be standing here so high. So, kiss you once, cause I know you had a long night. Kiss you twice, cause it's gonna be alright. Three times, cause you waited your whole life.
need it. Hold on, I have to pause my playlist really quick. Um, so, let me just tell you guys about Faith, okay? I promise she didn't ask me to like shout her out or anything. This is just purely my love for one of my friends and just an up and coming, rising musician. Um, she moved out to California, went to an acting school, fantastic. Um, I am so glad she's choosing to pursue music more than acting. She's an incredible actor, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, but I love her music so much and I believe in her music so freaking much. In the case that any of you watching um, have your own label or you know someone <laughs> um, in the music industry, Please, please, please get her music out there and get her known. Um, she, if you follow her Instagram, I'll link it down below. I will link every single social media outlet that Faith has down below because I seriously want to see this girl succeed in music so badly. She's just, she's incredible. So that's a sneak peek to the kind of music she has. Um, if you guys want to listen to more, um, her Spotify will be linked down below for you guys so you can go check her out. Please stream it. Please tell your friends. Please share it on social media. Every single time a new song comes out, I share it. I post it. I freaking love her a lot. So... She's great. She's honestly probably writing better music than a lot of very well-known artists, so don't hate me for saying that, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, go check out Faith. Y'all, I am never driving to Columbia, St. Louis, wherever we're at, again, because this was prob this has probably made it to my top five worst driving experiences I've ever had in my entire life. My car almost got hit three times on my way here and one of those times was by a freaking semi. So, <laughs> you know, it's easy for me to slam on my brakes for a car, but when you have a semi, even if you slam on your brakes, it's like, you are still going to get trampled by that semi because they're like 40,000 feet long and they weigh 200 tons. So either way, you are dead. And it's just, it's very stressful driving to big cities with highways that have four to six lanes and then the entire way there. And I'm just, I'm over it. I am over it. My anxiety was through the roof on the way here and there was nothing I could do about it but just take it in. Nothing about this place makes any sense! Oh my god! Oh wait, oh wait. I think that might be our pizza. I think he came... Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, we literally are going to circle this place. Papa John's dude is trying to find the place too. I think he's lost. I literally ah! 1414. I found it. Suckers. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Cool. Good morning, guys. I'm so sorry that I didn't vlog anything last night. It's really hard to like whip out your camera and film something in front of a bunch of people you don't know and on the same account. I'm still very, very new to this whole YouTube thing, so it's still kind of weird for me as well to pull out my camera in public in front of a bunch of strangers that I don't know and be comfortable with it and be okay with it. We went to the Mason Ramsey concert last night and it was so much fun. 
Um, I <laughs> I gave Elise like a lot of crap for just buying them in general because I was like, really, we're gonna pay money to like actually watch him perform. But he was the cutest little 12 year old I've ever seen in my entire life. And he actually has a really good voice. Like the yodeling aspect is like new and unique and kind of like, oh, like that's different. But he he's really talented, truly. Elise had to work 10 to 12 this morning. So I'm currently on my way to pick her up. And I think we're gonna go get coffee and bagels from this really cute little, I don't know if it's a cafe or if it's like a restaurant. Um, but she said it's one of her favorite places to eat. So I think we're gonna go there and we were hoping to go to the pumpkin patch and possibly the haunted house, but it's raining right now though. Well, it's not raining. It's like, it was trickling. Um, and it's, it's kind of gloomy out, but it's like an okay kind of gloomy. Like it's just, I feel like it's just a fall aesthetic kind of gloomy, you know what I mean? But I really hope we get to do something today. And uh, this person in the car next to me is staring at me, filming myself. Hey guys! <laughs> this is so cute. This is my friend Elise. <laughs> Sam is here visiting me in Columbia, Missouri, where it is raining. And I had to go to work this morning and work was great. And I got off and we were supposed to go to the pumpkin patch, but I don't think that is gonna be a thing. So we're gonna explore the downtown and maybe go to a haunted house tonight because yeah. it's almost Halloween. And get scared. And get scared. Person that loves to get my adrenaline going and it's just a- Oh no, cause now it's- Look how good that is. Look how blue my eye looks. Ooh. Do you need to get anything this weekend? No.
starts all of the attractions and I don't know about everyone else but we were standing in line for like two or two and a half hours just to get into this like the first house and then as soon as we got out of that house we had to stand in another line which didn't take us long that one probably took us like 10 or 15 minutes to get through and then it's just the same thing with with each attraction you have to stand in a line and wait and that was kind of annoying just because I'm used to haunted houses where you pay and you go through the whole thing and then you're done and I also think that waiting in multiple lines in between those attractions takes away from your experience because then like your adrenaline kind of stops and you have to like wait and you're not like pumped and like going through the whole thing. Also, when we went through like the clown forest thing, I was already terrified because I have like an irrational fear of clowns. I won't go anywhere near them. So I'm just trying to navigate myself through this maze of woods and I'm like ducking down with my hands like this over my head so I don't see them. And when we get near the exit of the maze, Elise tripped over something first. And then because we were holding hands through the whole thing because she tripped and I was like kind of following in her footsteps, it hit both of my shins and I tripped and then we, I like legitimately fell to the ground. There was this one part where Elise and I, we were in the front of the group for the majority of the time and we like went up to this doorway and this guy just like popped out and like we both screamed obviously, but Elise's scream lasted like five to seven seconds. And it was so funny because the guys like broke character and started laughing. And Elise was like, I'm so sorry. That was such a long scream. I didn't mean to do that. And it was just, it was funny. But yeah. That is how our weekend went. Um, I'm really sorry, guys, that I didn't film a lot. Like I said, it's kind of weird to film in front of people or film people that aren't really used to being filmed. And not only that, but like it was weird for me to like have a camera to my face in public. Like I'm still getting used to this too, so. Yeah, sorry about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Hopefully my vlogs will get better in time. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video.